Joe Biden has been urged to intervene in a bid to halt work on Nord Stream 2, the controversial pipeline project which will bring gas from Russia to Germany. However, former MEP Hans Olaf Henkel said the US president can expect little help from either Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, or Vice Chancellor, Olaf Scholz, suggesting the latter was hellbent on sticking to what he called Putin's slimy deal. Nord Stream consists of two offshore natural gas pipelines under the Baltic Sea. Nord Stream 2 will consist of two more pipelines currently under construction. Speaking last month, a spokesman for Mr. Biden said he believed Nord Stream 2 represented a bad deal for Europe and will be reviewing current restrictions imposed by the previous Trump administration. Attention is currently focused on Russia after the arrest of dissident politician Alexei Navalny, who has now been sent to prison camp. However, German MEP Mr. Henkel, who stepped down from the assembly in 2019, said he had little confidence that either of Germany's most powerful politicians would change their stance on the ongoing project. He told Daily Express, both Merkel and Skarls are in favor of sticking to Nord Stream 2, which is inconsistent with their demand for actions in retaliation of Putin's brutality. As usual they demand a European response but in this case they ignore most of the European voices opposing the completion of the pipeline, i.e. the vote of the European Parliament, the position of most European governments as well as the one of the new US president and even France, Mr. Henkel added. To stop Nord Stream 2 now is the only credible response to Putin's behavior. All other proposals of punishment will result in nothing but laughter in the Kremlin, he stressed. That's why I count on more pressure by President Biden to stop it, as that might uncover the role of ex-Chancellor Skroda, a social democrat and Putin's poodle. Skulls will do everything to stick to this slimy deal. As Chancellor, Skroda made the deal with Putin in 2005. After he lost the election in 2005, Putin hired him to oversee Nord Stream 1 and to lobby for Nord Stream 2. In my view the worst conflict of interest imaginable and the biggest scandal in the republic's history speaking to Daily Express last year, Tory MP Daniel Cork Sissonki suggested post, Brexit Britain had a major role to play when it came to opposition to Nord Stream 2. He explained, now that we have finally left the European Union, it's time for the United Kingdom to step up and help to kill this project off once and for all. It is difficult to overstate the scale of the betrayal this pipeline represents. Germany is a NATO member, committed, on paper, to the defense of the continent against potential Russian meddling and influence. Yet not only does Berlin consistently fail to commit anything like the 2% of GDP to defense that is expected of NATO members, but it is now actively putting hard currency in the hands of the very rogue powers the alliance exists to contain. Every euro Germany spends importing Russian gas is money that can be spent on building a diversified energy and oil sector in Europe. Worse, binding Germany's industrial power into Vladimir Putin's energy network leaves the EU's preeminent member state increasingly exposed to Russian influence, and dependent on Russian goodwill. This is extraordinary conduct by a supposedly allied nation.